Okay guys, here we are back for part four of my perfume collection video. Um, I thought it would probably be best if I, instead of pulling these all down and getting them on the floor, I just stand here and go through them with you. Um, I'll get through as much as I can until I get to probably like a 30 minute video max and then I will split it up into another part. So let's start in the way, way back here. Um, I've got a couple of these Harajuku Girl um, fragrances. This one, that's the only problem. My camera's not going to focus very well with me holding it, but this is Harajuku Lovers G. I got this in a bundle that I bought, and there we go. Um, I don't ever wear this. I just hang on to it because it's so cute and it's almost kind of collectible. Like the bottle is just adorable, but yeah, I don't wear that ever. Um, I've got another Harajuku Girl. This is music. This I used to wear like such a long time ago, back in the th like 2000s. <laughs> it's cute though. I keep it just for the bottle and like I say, because it's something I used to wear. I'm going to switch hands here. Well, that's going to get in the light. Okay. Moving right along, I've got... Ooh. Okay. Moving right along, I've got some... These are all my ganache fragrances. So this one... Oh. This one is called Sugared. And this is a strange fragrance. It's really nice, though. I keep it because it's just... Number one, it's been totally discontinued, like you can't get these fragrances anymore, and so because of that I want to hang on to them. This one has like a, uh, yeah, I forget what they called it, like a wild mange accord or something like that, like a, a something animalic, so it's an interesting one. It's like a gourmand with an animalic note in it. Next I've got this Fern Mayo. This is a super, super sweet violet, fr violet fragrance. Um, if you guys have ever seen the movie Jawbreaker from the 90s, that's where Fern Mayo comes from. Um, and her name was, they changed her name to Violet, if you guys remember that. It's a crazy, crazy movie, but it makes sense. It's like a violet perfume called Fern Mayo, so. Anyways, uh, Vanilla and Tonka Bean. This one's really nice. It is, it's just a Vanilla and Tonka fragrance. Uh, Cafe Lush. This is a coffee fragrance. Really, really pretty, like straight up coffee. Uh, bon Vivant. This is another just really sweet gourmand fragrance. I really like it. Um, sweet Sticky Things. This is like a sticky bun type fragrance. Sweet si Sticky Things is like the perfect name for it. This one is Strawberry Panna Cotta, my label. All, a lot of these perfumes leaked in delivery, and my labels got messed up, but yeah, that's Strawberry Panna Cotta. Okay, let's move over here. Love Generation Arts. This one, I can't remember what this is supposed to be a dupe for, but this is going to go to the cell pile right over here, because... I, don't, I know I'll never reach for that. It's a really pretty fragrance, and it's um, it's a dupe for something that I can't think of right now, but I know I'll never reach for it. This is my Sarah Jessica Parker NYC Pure Crush. This is a beautiful, like, green coconut fragrance. I adore it. Uh, Sarah Jessica Parker NYC. This is a beautiful strawberry fragrance. I love it. Uh, Chanel number no. five, Eau Premier. This is a beautiful flanker of number no. five. This is one that I can actually stomach. I don't like the original number no. five. I'm not a huge fan of aldehy aldehydic fragrances. Um, this is one that I actually really like, though. It's really pretty. Okay, next we've got this is a musk oil. This is. Musk Malaki, I think is how you say it, from Swiss Arabian. It's in this gorgeous bottle, if I can get my camera to focus. Come on, camera. 
well, it's just this really beautiful glass bottle. This is a great layering fragrance. Um, these are a little bit pricey, I think because of the packaging. There we go. But it's beautiful. It's a great layering fragrance. Next we have got Commodity Rain. I love, love this fragrance. You can see I've already put a good dent in this. Um, this is just a beautiful, clean, green, like watery fragrance. Rain is the perfect name for it. Next I have got Versace Versense. I love this fragrance. This again is another beautiful, kind of sweet, citrusy, green fragrance. It smells like the color of the liquid. Like it's so pretty. Next we have got Elizabeth Arden White Tea. Uh, I really like this one. This is just a super easy reach like clean white tea fragrance I guess. <laughs> okay we have got Iris Prima from Penn Halligans. This is a gorgeous um, iris fragrance. It's kind of got a very slight makeup y lipstick vibe to it, but not like it's very soft. It's not like an overwhelming makeup fragrance. This has a beautiful leather note in it that really keeps that makeup y thing toned down. Okay, um, let's see. Next, I have a Dossier fragrance here. This is Floral Number no. 4. This is a um, dupe for Chanel Gabrielle, and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous dupe. I love the packaging. I love these fragrances. I think they're such a good value for the money, and because I have this, I will be selling my uh, Gabrielle as soon as we get to it. Next, I've got Tommy Hilfiger uh, Tommy Girl here. This is just a tiny little bottle of Tommy Girl. And my camera really just wants to focus on the background and not what's right in front of me. Sorry guys, I'm sorry it's blurry, but that is Tommy Girl. It's just a little tiny bottle. This is a little half ounce bottle that I just keep on hand. Come on camera. Well, I just keep this on hand because um, it's an old, old signature. I wore this right when I graduated high school, and it's just nostalgic for me. Next, I have a beautiful Sylvain Delacorte fragrance. This is Sylvain Delacorte Virgil. This is a gorgeous aromatic vanilla fragrance. This was definitely my favorite of the vanillas and I adore it. If you guys buy the little um, discovery kits from this house, she will send you a, I think it's a $10 off coupon. So I think this size, which is a one mil size, I believe, is usually $70, but um, with the coupon, it ends up being 60. So I think it's a really good deal because it's a really beautiful fragrance. Okay, next we have got an Alchemy fragrance. This is Alchemy 33, and this is my favorite from this house. So she only makes um, she only makes three fragrances. This one, a unisex one, and a men's fragrance. This is by far my favorite. This has like a this has a um, Misty or Cherie vibe to it. It's it's just really beautiful. Easy breezy. It lasts a really long time on my skin. It's just like an easy to wear frick fragrance. I've I wear this one actually quite a lot because I really, really like it. That's why it's in front, because I pull it a lot. Okay, next we have this Simply Jill Sander fragrance. This one I've been on the fence about. Like, do I want to keep it? Do I want to sell it? I absolutely never 
reach for this one. I'm probably going to put this in the cell pile right now because I tried it again the other night and it's beautiful. Don't get me wrong, but it's just one of those. It's like, it's not my favorite. I'm probably never going to reach for it. And somebody else will probably enjoy this bottle of perfume a lot more than me. So yeah, I'll probably put this one right into the cell pile right now. Okay, let's go more to the back here. This is um, Insolence Eau Glacé. So this is just a really light version of my Insolence. I think it's got like an icy pear note in it or something, if I remember correctly. Uh, I just love it. I love these bottles, and I just really like that one. Next, we've got some Dolce & Gabbana Red Box, or Red, well, Red Cap, I should say. This is, I keep this in the box just so I can distinguish it from the other one. Um, it's got the black background on the label, so you know this is the Euro Italia version. So, this is a beautiful version. This one goes on me. This is an aldehydic fragrance that I actually really like. Um, this one on my skin, this version, goes kind of incense-y, and I really love it. Um, here's another, that's another bottle, so this is the Made in Germany version, and this one is aldehydic, and this one goes really soapy on my skin, so I really like that one too. Next, we have got Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Italian Zest. This is gorgeous. This is like a lemon cream version of, of Light Blue. I really love it. So I like my Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Flankers to still retain the DNA of Light Blue, but I like them to be different enough that I don't feel like I'm just wearing Light Blue, and that one gives me all of that. Here's another Light Blue Flanker. This is Light Blue Sun. And this is probably my favorite Dolce & Gabbana light blue flanker ever. This is a more kind of gourmand version of light blue. It's just stunning. Okay, next we've got this Tea Rose Jasmine. This is going to go in the cell pile because this is stunning. Um, this is like an old-fashioned, like, indolic jasmine beauty. This is super vintage-smelling. And I love it, but I cannot pull it off. Like, I just cannot pull it off. So, because of that, I don't need to keep it. Um, this is another one that's probably going to go in the sell pile. I hold on to this because, actually, I don't know, because it might be too old to sell at this point. But, um, this is Giorgio Armani Sensi. This is another one that I just hold on to for nostalgic reasons. And I know that I will never pull this and actually wear it. I'm going to keep it back here just for a little bit. I'll probably end up just keeping it just for nostalgic purposes, but, um, okay. Next we have got Chloe. This is the new Chloe, the original formulation of the new Chloe. So yeah, I love it. I love Chloe fragrances. A lot of people don't like that. They think it smells too mature and yucky, but I love it. Next, we've got Kenzo Power. This is a men's fragrance, and this is supposed to be similar to Tom Ford, um, Soleil Neige, and I think it is. I've got a decant of Soleil Neige, and I've tested these side by side. There's definitely differences, but you definitely get the same experience. This one lasts a lot longer on the skin. It's much cheaper than the Tom Ford, and I think it's a good alternative. Next, we have got Guerlain Ideal. This is a beautiful, musky floral fragrance. This reminds me a lot of um, Narciso in the Black Bottle. I like this a whole, a whole lot more, though, so... Okay, next we have got Orlov Paris. Orlov... This is a beautiful floral. My husband loves this one on me. Um, it's just a really stunning floral fragrance. Next, we've got another one for nostalgia reasons. This is Le Fleur from Cody, and my mom wore this when I was a kid. I remember this in the drugstore. I remember that label. My mom was always into, like, these colors, these kind of jewel tone, the burgundy, the Victorian era looking stuff. So yeah, it was, 
she loved this fragrance. Next we have got Aqua de Joa Ascenza. This is a really beautiful version of Aqua de Joa. This has a really beautiful prominent mint note in it that I really, really like. I like this mirrored bottle too. Lasts forever on the skin too. Next we have got La Perla White Iris and This is really beautiful. This is a beautiful, powdery, makeup-y iris fragrance. I love it. The liquid, the color of the liquid is really, like, will really give you an indication of how it smells. It's powdery. It's yummy. It's almondy. It's heliotrope-y. It's just a beautiful fragrance. Next, I have not reached for this once since I bought it, so it's going to go in the cell pile. It's a beautiful, citrusy, like, aftershave style, barbershop style cologne. It's called Tabac Original and it's beautiful but I don't reach for that ever and I never have. Next we have got Juicy Couture. This is the original Juicy Couture fragrance. This is a beautiful white floral, tuberose heavy. It's gorgeous. I love it. Next, we have got the Go Naked Oil from Urban Decay. Um, I picked this up a long time ago. This has long been discontinued. This is a good alternative for Tom Ford's Soleil Blanc. Next, we've got Black Opium. I It's funny because I decluttered a bottle of Black Opium um, Nuit Blanche. And then this came back into my life when I bought a bundle, so I'm not sad to have it back. I really like Black Opium. I like the original version better than the Nui Blanche that I had. Next we have got Tender Romance, and this is a stunning fragrance, you guys. Oh my gosh, this has been discontinued, and ugh, it's so good. Let's see if, there we go. It's so good. It is, it's got a pear note in it. It's got like kind of a gourmand edge to it. It's just stunning. Melissa Jean is the one that turned me on to this. She has like a huge five ounce bottle of it. She talks about it all the time on her channel and I adore it. It's beautiful. I'm so glad I picked it up. I never would have. Okay, this is one of my bottles of my insolence and I adore this fragrance. This is one of my top five girl on fragrances for life it is so beautiful i have a backup bottle of this if i find one i buy it because it's long been discontinued it's a stunning stunning fragrance it's got like raspberry and i believe almond it's just beautiful i love it okay next we have got a nikolai fragrance and this is low mixed this is a gorgeous citrusy fragrance. It's also kind of like a traditional barbershop type smell. Really, really beautiful. I really love it. Okay. Next we have got this DKNY, uh, pure DKNY. This is beautiful. This is they now have like a drops of verbena and a drop of rose one and a drop of vanilla. So apparently the drop of vanilla is this. It's the same. Let me get my little. There we go. The drop of vanilla is this fragrance, this pure DKNY. This is a beautiful vanilla fragrance. I love it. It's gorgeous. This is just a little half bottle. That's all I need. Half ounce bottle. I'm sorry. Okay, next we have YSL Baby Doll. This is another one I keep just for nostalgic reasons. It's a pretty fragrance. It's not one I'm going to reach for a ton, but I absolutely adore this bottle. And this one is just like collectible to me. It's just gorgeous. Next, another nostalgic. This is Davidoff Cool Water for Women. This one I have literally because... The only re I love how this smells, but I would absolutely never wear this again. I wore this out in high school. I wore it for years. I've been through bottles and bottles of it. I just have this half ounce bottle, like I say, just strictly for nostalgic reasons. And then right next to it, we've got this Davidoff Coolwater Sea Rose. And 
this one's really pretty. My camera will focus on it. Yeah, this one's really pretty. Um, I'm going to wait till next summer to see if I really love this, and if I do, I will hang on to it. If not, I will get rid of it. Um, next, we have 4711 Nouveau Cologne. I adore this stuff. This is a very traditional barbershop citrusy unisex cologne. I adore it. It's so beautiful. I've put a pretty good dent in my bottle. I love it. Okay, next we have Marc Jacobs Honey. Uh, this one's beautiful. This is actually a really nice, easy breezy fragrance. There's nothing honey smelling about this for sure, but I hold on to it because of the bottle. It's really beautiful and it's been super discontinued. So, uh, Next, this is another one I'm going to sell because I didn't reach for it once this summer, even though it's gorgeous. This is called Beach Party for Her from Nikki Beach. This is stunning. It smells like suntan lotion, but it has a sand note in it that makes it so, so unique. It's really, really gorgeous, but if I didn't reach for it, even once this summer, it's got to go because I probably will not reach for it again. So, okay. Next, we have Like This from Etat Libra d'Orange. I adore this fragrance. This is my favorite fragrance from this house. I absolutely adore it. It's gorgeous. This is the one that Tilda Swinton did with the house, and it's got a carrot seed note in it that I am crazy about. So, Next, we have Stella McCartney Pop. This is gorgeous. This is tuberose and sandalwood, synthetic tuberose, synthetic sandalwood, gorgeous fragrance. I love it. Okay, let's move more towards the middle here. In the back, we've got JLo Glow. Um, this is pretty. This is a super clean, soapy fragrance. A lot of people say this smells like hairspray. Um, I could agree with that. It definitely does. Next, we have Dior Forever and Ever. This is stunning. I adore this fragrance. It's I have a huge bottle of it. This is a beautiful, super light, clean floral fragrance. Fruity floral, I should say. Next, we have got Anique Goutel. This is Eau de Charlotte. I keep this because of the name. It's beautiful, though. It is a beautiful fragrance, too, but I keep it for my daughter. Next, we have Un Jardin sur le Nil, and this is from Hermes. This is just a tiny little half ounce bottle, and mine's only partially full. Really beautiful fragrance. Next, we have Fire and Ice. I wore this in middle school, and I keep it for nostalgic reasons. This is the original formulation, and it's gorgeous. I still love the smell of it to this day. This is one that I probably need to just go ahead and toss. This is called Coconut Passion. This is from Victoria's Secret, and this one has gone off. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and toss that one now. Okay, this is Marc Jacobs Violet. I picked this up, again, just for the bottle. The bottle is stunningly beautiful. It's got this beautiful, like, iridescent sheen to it. It's just such a gorgeous bottle. This is a discontinued fragrance. Um, the fragrance inside is pretty good too. I like it, but I probably won't reach for it a ton. Next, we have got Panhaligon's Elanesia. This is another one that I never reached for. I didn't reach for this even once this spring or summer, so I'm going to resell this one. If I can get my camera to focus. So there we go, Elanesia. Yeah, I didn't reach for this even once. This is a sweet white floral. It's really pretty, but I'm just going to go ahead and let that one go. Okay, next we have got 
Britney Spears VIP private show. These are guilty pleasures. These are so good. This is a beautiful, like, fruity gourmand. Ugh, it's so good. I love it. My husband loves it. Next, we have got another dossier. This is Oriental Woody 8. This is their interpretation or clone of Santal 33 from Le Labo. I love this fragrance. It's gorgeous. Next, we have a Decan YB Delicious. This is Golden Delicious. This is just a little half ounce bottle, and I love this fragrance. This is probably my favorite from the Be Delicious line. It's so good. Such a beautiful smell, and I get compliments every time I wear that. Okay, let's move to the front here a little bit. This is uh, Angel's Dust from Francesca Bianchi. This one, I never reach for this, ever. I don't love it, so um, that's going to go in the cell pile. Okay, guys, my dogs are going crazy, so we're going to end this part there, and I will see you in part five. Bye.